What's going on guys? Today we're rocking the Cooper Carbine here in Warzone for a 20 plus kill gameplay and in today's video I've got for you guys what in my opinion is the best long range Cooper Carbine class setup. All right, so if you guys are interested in trying this out, the class setup will be at the end of today's video and as always I hope you guys do enjoy. Don't forget to drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new but I'll catch you guys in the gameplay. Enjoy. We'll slow to the punch there, buddy. What if you guys dropped in here? I should have came over here. This guy blew it up. That hurts. That was a free kill. Saw him and turned around. Enemy soldier nearby. Ah, come, Peter. Got a buy right here. Oh, bro. On oh, man, I need that. And the recon is in this hangar. Yeah, do the work for me, bro. Do the work for me. Crit him. On the way. Four people in the hangar? There he is. Located a supply box. Secure that. Ah. I want to do that. Bro, how is there not a buy? There's been no buy stations anywhere. Kind of stressful. Look out behind me with incendiary. That makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. Oh shit. Need some recon out here. UAV beginning flyover. I'll drive. Let's move. Guy at the shack. Come on. Dude. Enemy soldier nearby. Are you kidding me? UAV is out of fuel. Ready for resupply. 
How do you just like why? I hate those little spots where you just you can't mantle up. It's like you keep getting caught and you think you're about to catch, but you don't. Like right here when I was trying to pop up to smoke that guy. Then I couldn't because I just couldn't mantle it. And it's little rocks like that. It's like it just doesn't make sense. Hopefully I can get both of them though. Gas is moving in. New safe zone highlighted. Need some recon out here. UAV beginning flyover. Fire sale Fly station costs are adjusted. Oh my god, what a throw. Now it makes more sense. Gas is moving. Now she makes more sense. That was a toss and a half on this guy right here. Enemy UAV active. Some recon out here. There's a ghost guy behind me, I'm pretty sure. Unless he killed him. There was a guy up here. I'm gonna assume jumped off. Really? That's how we're playing it now, bro. That's how we're playing it. Be mindful. Oh, it was a fire sale, dude. I don't even think to pop an advanced. Guy's got to be low. Get to the new safe zone. Gas is closing in. Fire sales done. Prices are back to normal. That hurts. Enemy advanced UAV. Oh, cash drop is inbound. Intercept and seize the cargo. All kinds of advanced getting called in now. Be careful here. Gulag's about to close. I really need to get this big game bounty. I see him. So many people left. Safe zone. Gas is closing. I go up here to this other big game. I gotta try to get the sub pin ASAP. Gas is moving. Objective is to eliminate the bounty target. Some recon out here. UAV beginning flyover. UAV is out of fuel. Returning for resupply. Enemy UAV 
I could have just got here like a second sooner. I really need to kill him. Inbound. Safe zone relocated. Loadout drop headed your way. I'm gonna try to rotate out before him. Dude, that bad. Gas is moving in. New safe zone highlighted. Yeah. Only five remain. Finish this once and for all. hurts bro this rotation is so bad why does he gotta pull this hard hey, look at that pull head on a swivel you want oh sorry partner airstrike target right here dead phoenix three strike inbound all enemy teams sign not rasaka the cooper carmine 28 kill gameplay hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to drop a like subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new but i'll catch you guys in the next one peace all right, guys, so for the class setup on the Cooper Carbine, we're rocking the MX Silencer for the sound suppression as well as accuracy. The 22-inch Cooper Custom Barrel for highly accurate and controllable, reduced scope sway and gun bob, along with some increased fire rate. I've really been enjoying the 3x6X optic lately. The Cooper 45W stock for the recoil and accuracy during sustained fire, along with the tight grip and polymer grip for the same reasons, recoil and accuracy during sustained fire on both of those. Polymer also gives a little bit of flinch resistance, but it's mainly for the recoil and accuracy. We've got fully loaded for the increased ammo, obviously off the rip. We've got the 45 round mag, all right? Now this one increases bullet velocity and range plus damage and bullet penetration. It slows the fire rate and reduces recoil control as well as accuracy, all right? So that's why we're running all those stacked recoil and accuracy attachments such as tight grip, polymer grip, and the stock because that really honestly balances that out. It's still an absolute laser beam. With this mag, it does have a slight bit of visual recoil to it, but for the most part, it doesn't really move, all right? But if you wanted to switch it up, you could run the 60 round mag for the recoil control as well as accuracy, fire rate, aim down sight speed, and obviously 15 more bullets, but you're going to lose damage range, bullet velocity, penetration, as well as overall damage, all right? So if you're playing like solos and duos, maybe even trios, I would recommend the 45, but maybe for quads, just to have a little extra ammo in the clip to do what you need to do, maybe run the 60, but both of those are very good options. We've got lengthened for the increased bullet velocity along with the M1941 handstop for recoil control as well as accuracy.
I'm the realest one that's rapping. Oh my God, oh my God, if I die, I'm a legend. When they lay me down to rest, I know I was always rapping. Oh my God, my whole life, my words been my greatest weapon. I know I, I know I.